In 2017, the Earth encountered a very weird object. We didn't know it at the time, but our planet had been visited by something that had come from deep in the void of outer space, from another star. It was unlike anything we've seen before, and it's taken us years to figure out what that object really was. Now, in 2025, it's all happening again. Another strange visitor is approaching our sun, only this time we can see it coming, and things are about to get even stranger. Let's start at the beginning. This is Oumuamua. It's the first interstellar object ever detected, meaning that it came from another star. Then it spent millions of years traveling through space on its way to encounter our own solar system. But still, this one caught us by surprise. At the time we finally identified the object, it had already made its closest approach to the sun, and it was on its way out of the solar system, back into the void. Oumuamua gets its name from the Hawaiian observatory that first discovered it. Originally, they thought it was just another comet, but on closer inspection they realized it didn't have the signature tail of a comet that was passing through the solar system, so it must be an asteroid. Only this object was behaving too weird to be just another space rock. It was moving too fast. This is the first indication that we are looking at an interstellar object. Everything inside our solar system is caught in the gravity of the sun. All of the planets, comets, asteroids, we are all just spinning around this incredible force of gravity, and the only way for us to get out of the solar system would be to accelerate, to reach escape velocity. That depends on how close you are to the sun, but from the Earth, escape velocity would be about 42 kilometers per second. When we first spotted Oumuamua as it passed beyond Earth's orbit on its way out of the solar system, it was moving at 87 kilometers per second, way too fast to be caught by the sun's gravity. That's what we call a hyperbolic trajectory. And what's really interesting is that before Oumuamua passed by the Earth, it flew so close to the sun that it was actually inside the orbit of Mercury. And what's more interesting is that such a close encounter with a powerful force of gravity should have slowed the object down. But what we observed was that as Oumuamua moved away from the sun, it actually accelerated out of the solar system. This is where the name Oumuamua comes from. In the Hawaiian language, it means the first to reach out or the first distant messenger. Typically, we condense the translation to just mean scout. So we've got layers of weirdness here, and this is just scratching the surface. If the object in question was just an interstellar asteroid, aka a rock, then its movement should be governed by the laws of physics. And physics says that passing by the sun would have slowed it down. So if that didn't happen, then it means some other force coming from inside the object itself had to have acted to change its velocity. That means it is physically impossible for this object to just be a rock. It has to be something else. And the next level of weirdness is that not only was Oumuamua traveling through space in a way that we've never seen before, it also looked really strange while doing it. When we try and make an image of something in outer space, all we really have to go on is the amount of sunlight being reflected off of it. Giant bodies like Saturn and Jupiter reflect a giant amount of light, and that allows us to see them clearly even though they are really far away. But when it comes to something relatively small, like an asteroid, all we see is the faint little blip of light reflecting off that object. Most asteroids are not very reflective because they are just rocks, and they are mostly round in shape, so we expect to see a relatively consistent and dim reflection. Oumuamua did something unexpected. For one, it's a very bright object, highly reflective, indicating that it's probably not made of rock. And thing two, as we observed this light in the sky, it was not consistent. It was pulsing from bright to dim and back again once every seven hours, meaning that the object can't be round like an asteroid. We are seeing a long side and a short side. This led astronomers to the unlikely conclusion that the object was probably long and narrow, like a cigar, and it was slowly tumbling end over end as it moved through space. Although this could also be explained by an object that was 